I'm Gareth Davis and you have just entered the Davis Locker. It is quite simply the greatest movie-based infotainment show on the entire interwebs. Now, if you don't believe me, I can prove it. Head on over to our YouTube channel and that's where you'll find our content. And while you're there, you may as well hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know exactly when we post new content. It's Monday the 23rd of March and we're in a full lockdown scenario. Bored of the great British public ignoring the advice of the government and wandering out there without a care in the world, Bojo has laid down the law. From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. Because the critical thing we must do to stop the disease spreading between households, that is why people will only be allowed to leave their home for the following very limited purposes. Shopping for basic necessities as infrequently as possible. One form of exercise a day, for example, a run, walk or cycle, alone or with members of your household. Any medical need to provide care or to help a vulnerable person. And travelling to and from work, but only where this is absolutely necessary and cannot be done from home. That's all. These are the only reasons you should leave your home. If you don't follow the rules, the police will have the powers to enforce them. Again, there's no movie news, I apologise, but it's not my fault, so don't have a go. Instead, let's sprint on over to the Coronavirus Film Challenge. We're on day eight now, so that means we're over halfway, and we may as well have a recap. So far we've had 28 Days Later, Heat, Evil Dead, Contagion, Outbreak, Rear Window, and yesterday it was Omega Man. Now all of these past episodes are available on YouTube, so go and check them out. Thanks for everyone that's got involved so far. We've had a load of chatter on our social media. We are at The Davis Locker on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. But one thing we really want to encourage is more discussion on YouTube, please. So after we've gone through this, head on over there, dive into the comments, and please let me know what you thought of the film. But hark, what film are we looking at today, Gaz, please? I hear you cry. It's only the Night of the Living Dead. Now, one thing I do know about zombies is that they love eating brains. And also, there's one thing I know about me, and I like eating snacks. Right, today I've gone for some Ribena, and I heard somewhere it's hip to be one, so I've gone for squares. In 87, Huey released this for their most accomplished album. I think their undisputed masterpiece is hip to be square. Two hours later. The 1968 cult horror classic Night of the Living Dead was directed by George A. Romero. It's about a ragtag group of Pennsylvanians who were forced to barricade themselves in an old farmhouse to remain safe against a breed of bloodthirsty, flesh-eating monsters that are ravaging the east coast of the United States. Check this out. Yeah, they're dead. They're all messed up. There'll probably be a lot more of them as soon as they find out about us. All persons who die during this crisis, from whatever cause, will come back to life to seek human victims. Telling you they can't get in here. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Come on, what's not to love with that? Now, in fact, this is one of the most successful independent films ever created. Made with a budget of only $114,000, it grossed more than 263 times that in the box office, over $30 million. <laughs> Unfortunately, George A. Romero made very little profit from this film. Due to his poor understanding of distribution deals, the distributors actually walked away with most of the profits. Bummer. 
Now it's regarded as a classic. However, when it was first released, it was met with a lot of criticism due to the amount of gore. In the scene where the zombies are eating bodies, they're actually eating a roast ham covered in chocolate sauce. <laughs> there you go, there's my little tidbits. Right, please let me know what you thought of the film in the comments below. As ever, if you're not already subscribed to us on YouTube, please head on over there, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know exactly when we post our new videos. Now, if you prefer your content in audio form, you can download the podcast on Apple, Spotify and Google Podcasts. Make sure you subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. And finally, we have a lovely little website, www.thedavislocker.com. On there you'll find news, reviews, trailer Top Trumps episodes and any original content that we've created. Right, as suggested on Instagram by Ellie Mae Smith, tomorrow's film is Ant-Man and the Wasp. Bit of a strange choice you may say, but I'll tell you the reasons why tomorrow, so make sure you get tuned in. Right, I've been Gazzadee, this is the Davis Locker, see ya.